everybody I'm back and in today's video we're going to be doing a American Horror Story Apocalypse transformation. I'm going to give a shout out and credit to AJ Wyatt for this recommendation. Thank you so much hun for this uh, wonderful recommendation. I appreciate you guys when you uh, let me know what you want to see and so we're going to get started. But before we do uh, don't forget hit the subscribe button down below click the bell notification you won't miss any of my videos also give me a big thumbs up if you like the video it helps me out a lot and share me share me with the world all right so here's what we're going to do so I saw online I was trying to get some inspiration to do a um, the American Horror Story um, just some type of makeup and I'm going to zoom just a little bit. There we go. Um, anyways, I was looking online to see what I could find and I did see a American Horror Story teaser trailer and it did show what looked to be like Lady Gaga. I don't know if she's in this season. I don't know if she has already appeared. I haven't watched last night's episode, October 31st episode. Um, I was going to try to do this last night and put the film up, but um, things happen. We had a sewer issue and our main line got stopped. And so we've been dealing with that for the last uh, few days. And yesterday had a little bit of a little bit of a craziness going on. So anyways, um, I am going to do it today. It's November 1st. Um, also, don't forget, check out my other video previous to this. I have posted a cool contest. I am giving away a bag of Starbucks coffee. Um, it's part of the Passport series. And the way to win it is you just have to write in the comments, I love coffee. And then I'm going to pick the winner uh, November 15th. So, <coughs> excuse me, residual coughing from being sick uh, a couple weeks ago so um also i wanted to touch base with you guys about my new orleans trip and the footage i haven't been able to upload anything on youtube in a cool minute i did a test last night and i uploaded something it was successful so hopefully today will be the same and um i'll be able to upload this video so um the new orleans trip i I put together the footage and sorry to say that for some reason YouTube will not show it. I, I uploaded it. It blanked out the complete screen. Um, it didn't say it was unsuccessful, but it won't play it. So I had to, I just deleted it and I tried to upload it again and it did the same thing. So that's it on that. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping that maybe... I can figure something out so I can at least show you guys some of the places that I saw and what I got to do. Okay, so this is the inspiration that I am taking today's look from. And it looks like she's wearing a oxygen mask of some sort, a breather mask. And that's the look that I'm going to try to go for today. Okay, so... Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be, so I'm so sorry. If there are parts that bore you, please feel free to skip ahead. Um, and, yeah. so Okay. So, the main look, it looks to be like... She looks pretty pale, uh, but that's probably just the lighting. So, um, but she's wearing a lot of purple. And so, we're going to try to sketch this out uh, and try to come up with something pretty cool. So, grab my mirror, and we're going to get started. So, uh, I've, oh, I've also laid down the Urban Decay uh, eye primer on my eyes already, and, um, you know, did a little color correction where I needed to do color correction. So, okay. And I do this sitting on my bed, so um, I just do a lot of moving around and try to focus on keeping myself stable on this bed but okay so I think what we need to do is we need to lay down the purple shadow first and I do have of course this is all done with uh, drugstore makeup um, nothing uh, expensive or you know high-priced makeup 
Um, cause like I said, I just, I cannot afford that kind of stuff. Not yet anyway. But, um, so this is just a little, uh, wet and wild mega liner in, uh, this, I'm not sure. Oh, the color is just purple. Purple. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. Red is my absolute favorite, but purple's coming right next to it, so... Alright, so we're going to get started by, it almost looks like the liner, or like the eyeshadow, like on that side right there, is almost like a little, like a little wing. So we're going to try doing that, and I can see it on the other eye too, just not as well. It's more up in her cut crease that they've done the wing. So, we're going to try drawing this out. Hopefully, this liner will work. All right. Let me get a good picture here of the look. And it kind of takes it up to the end of the, um, the eyebrow. Now, I did not extend my eyebrow eyebrow out to you know make it flat because I've got a really curved brow so um it would look kind of funky so we're just gonna dip into this pull some color back I don't know it's kind of chunky but I don't know we'll make it work And it's okay if you get some, you know, down in the the middle of it. Oh, this is very difficult. In the dark. Oh, I know what I didn't do. I did not put my phone in airplane mode. I'm so sorry, guys. Turning on airplane mode. Putting back on Wi-Fi. All right. And I'm going to bring it in about halfway. Like that. And then we're going to come. Looks like up here at the top. Kind of like that. And the trick is always to get it, try to get it as even as possible on the other side. And this eyebrow does not extend down as far. right. I may have to wipe some of that off. And start over on that. Okay. We'll try this again.
I hope everyone had a good Halloween. You guys did anything cool down below? Let me know. Any parties? Any fun stuff? We did go to a party. Um, on Saturday. I don't know. That's not really coming out as cool as I would hope. There we go. Bring that line a little bit. This is going to be a mess. Hopefully I can fix this and make this look better. And this other side is looking pretty chunky. just get it to point. I'm basically just trying to do the outline of it. Okay, so I've got that laid down and I know it looks really, really wonky and weird, but I'll clean it up and it will definitely look a lot better once I'm finished. So then what looks like what they've done is <clears throat> the outsides of um, the the cat or whatever type of eye this is. I don't know. I have no clue. I'm not going to call it anything. Um, they have done the outside in the dark purple and then of course they graduated in with a lighter uh, lilac color uh, towards the center and the inner corners. So we're going to try to go for that. And I've got a couple of different um, purples that I can use from that Hollywood BH Cosmetics palette that I have. Um, they have a couple of nice purples in there. You can see I've used one quite a bit. And then this palette, the other BH palette, the Smoky Eyes uh, color palette of 28 colors, has quite a few different purples in there. So I'm just going to try to decide here what I want to use. And of course I do have one that came from um, Hot Topic. It's called Rant. I don't have much of it left, but it is a very vibrant purple. If you can see that. But like I said, it looks more dark on the ins on the outside and then of course graduates and comes in and gets lighter and lighter. And then the Party Girl palette uh, after hours from BH Cosmetics also has uh, some purples in it that I can use. There are some really electric purple there. And then I've got the darker purples right up in here. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's just grab a brush and start packing it in. So I'm going to use this brush with my little packer right there. Clean it off a little bit because none of my stuff is clean. It's never clean. Oh. Okay. All right. So we're going to go in with a dark purple. And how dark do we want to go? Hmm out of 
and it's really more of a bluish purple. So I may pack on two colors there to get that, that color that I'm looking for. And let's go with, I think we'll just lay down this bright purple right here. And get it on my brush. And, you know, I kind of rolled it in there so I could really get it on there. But, I mean, it does a pretty decent payoff on color. So, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start outlining or going in with this color just right to the side of the, the outer part of the eye. And just kind of fill in up to the top. And like I said, just kind of pack it on. And then go to the other side, do the same thing. And right now, I'm to, to record this video, I am using the YouTube application on my mobile phone. And that's what I typically do. Really pack it on, kind of layer it to get at that brightness. All right, so I've got that done. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit darker color purple. And I'm thinking, let's see. Hmm, we'll go with, <sighs> I think that's just too light. I think we're going to try to go in with a little bit of blue. And so I'm going to go in with this color right here. And it picks up pretty good. And I'm going to go right back over that purple. I think I might go with this brush right here instead. It's more of a flat brush. So I don't color outside of the lines. And then we will bring that color in and lighten it up some as we go. I'm just going to bring that blue right through here. Just a little bit at the top. Same for here.
go back in and grab that purple once again and I'm going to lay it down right on top of that blue and of course any mistakes or mess ups you can always take and uh, go over that with a little bit of concealer and a brush and you can just kind of cover that right up which is probably what I will be doing because I am not coloring inside the lines and it doesn't seem it's like this side is like really popping with color and I don't know if I mentioned it I'm not I don't remember if I did or not but AJ Wyatt is the one that came up with this idea he told me to do American Horror Story theme type makeup so this is what I chose so thank you AJ for your awesome suggestion okay so that's that and I'm gonna grab I think this one right here and I'm just gonna go over the top I'm just trying to layer on and get that dark purple color just really trying to get that in there and it's like it's really light right there and this side is great Like this side is looking awesome and then this side is like really light. I don't get it. I'm gonna pop that blue back in. Oh, there we go. That is starting to cover it up. Maybe it's just the way the light's hitting it. I don't know. All right. We may have to go back over that. Oh, you know it's frustrating though. This is the one thing I cannot stand is fallout from the eyeshadow, like right there. <sighs> but that's what happens when you don't have it. You know, it's I'm not saying they're poor quality. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying, you know, that's kind of what happens when you deal with makeup that's not as strong a formula. I'm just gonna kind of brush it away with my blush brush. Okay, then we're going to go in. I've got this little eyeliner brush right here, and it's been pretty worn, but it's pr still pretty stiff. It's kind of frayed on the ends and stuff, but I'm going to take that, and I'm going to go up into these finer areas to color in. So go back to grabbing. And I don't know what is going on with my knee, but I have arthritis, but... It's like anytime I sit with my left knee curled in, oh my god, the pain is unreal. It is very annoying. So now we're going to go into this 
little guy right here and fill in. Uh -uh -uh. I love bright purple. Such a pretty color. And on this one, do the same. Oh, Lord, you know what's fun when you go in with an idea and then, you know, makeup is messy and then you get it everywhere. What's going to be really fun is using the Mayron Translucent Setting Powder later. Oh, my gosh. It is... So messy, like, and it just doesn't want to come out of anything. Have you ever just been like doing your makeup and been like, I'm over it? I'm totally over it. I haven't even been doing it that long, but I mean, this video is already 27 minutes long. This is crazy. Well, I feel that's about as good as I'm going to get it on that. For now. I'm not a professional, so. Let's zoom a little bit more. There we go. Sorry. Okay. And so then she did, or they did a, looks like a lilac right here as it's graduating in. So let's grab that other pack of brush again, if I can figure out where I put it because I misplaced my brushes all the time. Alright. Well. I have misplaced that. I feel so special. Where did I put it? You've got to be kidding me. I've lost my brush. <laughs> well, this is going great. I am so frustrated right now. I literally lost my brush. No, 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 no. This is going to make the video so much longer. Me searching for my brush for the next 15 minutes. Trying to figure out where in the heck I put it. And I'm moving my pillow. No, not there. Check the sides. Not there. Wow. Wow. Well, all right then. 
It's like the only good eyeshadow brush I have. And now I've misplaced it. I need something I can pack it in on the inner on the inside. I cannot believe I have lost my brush. <coughs> All right. We're going to pull it together. Just going to make do with what I've got. So I'm going to use this brush right here. Mm. All right. And we're going to go in with a lilac color. And I think I'm going to go with, I swear I'll get done with this and I'll find my brush. It'll be right there. I'm going to go in with this color right here. We're just going to put it down right in here and kind of blend it into the dark. So far, so far so good. Check out something. I think I'm going to try a little burgundy on this dark area a little bit. Oh, well, it doesn't have to match exactly like what's on there because this is just a inspiration. <laughs> All right. So I've got that lilac put down and the dark. And then it looks like... Pull up that picture one more time. And it looks like she, they put some white along through here. So let's find a decent white. All right. I'm going to go in with that one right there. Sorry, I'm using my mirror. I'm just going to go right into the corner there. And it looks gray. Like a purple gray. On one lid and white on the other. Why is that? I don't know. like that. I don't like that white. It's not working. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit with the NYX setting spray.
I'm really enjoying this season of American Horror Story, though. I'm loving that the witches are back. Oh, that was one of my favorite seasons. All right. So I've got the white packed in there pretty decent. And it looks like they did highlight uh, up at the top here. And so we're going to go for that. We're going to start highlighting that. And I think I'm just going to go back in with that white again. Go right under the brow bone. And really brighten it up. And take it down to the corner. Alright, now we need to do a little correction. With a little bit of concealer uh, around the eye to fix, sharpen up the edges some. So let me grab this brush right here. I'm going to use this end. And I'm going to grab some... Well, I was going to grab some. And I'm just going to put it up on my hand. It just kind of warms it up a little bit. And I put just a, you know, just a drop. I don't know if you guys can see that if I'm too close up. This is the... Rimmel Match Perfection number 245 light. Now I'm just going to go in and kind of clean up those edges, make them a little sharper. I think I have a slight zit on my eye. And that's always fun.
And as I'm trying to take that concealer just over it just a tiny, tiny bit. And Okay, well, there's that. Yay. I feel somewhat accomplished. Okay, then I'm going to go back with that liner and I'm going to add a point to this side because it didn't look like it was... And I'm just going to color it in just a little bit. And then do this side. I don't know why I just didn't do this in the first place. Take that liquid liner and just go right down. Ha ha ha. Oh, the things we'll do today. The hacks we'll learn. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look too incredibly bad. I am going to bring a little bit of that bright purple just kind of right through here. Soften it up in the corner. And blend. And blend. We're blending. And blending. Just when you think things couldn't get worse. And then BAM! You make something beautiful. Yeah, and I'm just taking it into the corner. Splitting it down into the corner of my eye. Now we need to do underneath the eye. And that is super important. If I really had that brush, I'd be so stoked. I'm wondering if it rolled off my bed. Let's move my big old pillow. I'm just checking the creases of my leg. Nope, it's probably sitting right here somewhere. I am sure of it. Like, where did you go? I'm sorry. I have no clue. What I did with it. I don't know, but I need a sip of coffee. I don't know about y'all. Yum, yum. And don't forget, please don't forget to go on and do the, uh, oh my gosh, I have lost my train of thought today. Please go back to the other video and comment, I love coffee, so that you can be entered into the giveaway for the free coffee. Okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this one up <clears throat> and I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a second part to this video because it's already 45 minutes and that's a long time. So uh, just to do my eyes. So I'm going to wrap this up and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to finish the look and we'll go from there. So, uh, hang tight. Make sure to go to part two to finish this story. All right. See you in a minute.